Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's Canine Educator. Thank you for joining me. It is a beautiful evening here in upstate New York. Today, I'm going to be talking about uh, crating your dog, why you should do it, um, maybe why some people think you shouldn't do it, uh, the right way to do it, and possibly the wrong way to do it. So I'm going to get it short and sweet. If you're here, let me know. Uh, like this video, leave a comment, let me know that you guys are here. Um, so creating your dog is essential to to a part of your relationship. It's it's the, one of the first things you can do. It's one of the easiest things you can do with your dog. It immediately creates comfort and safety and some sort of making a familiar spot for your dog to go, making that routine process start. As you guys know or may not know, Dogs absolutely love routines. So getting your dog out and start accumulating the safety aspects and the familiarity of having your dog in a crate is a really easy task to do. Not only is it easy, but it's something that could save your dog's life in the future, which we're going to talk about. Um, so dogs having, we're not going to talk about how to crate train your dog. We're going to talk about why it's a good thing for your dog to be comfortable in a crate and all of the benefits of getting your dog familiar and comfortable with the crate. We have rooms as individuals, as humans. Um, some people have a safe spot, such as their car, their bedroom, their office um, space, whatever it may be, um, going for a hike, whatever their safe space is. They have an ability and they have uh, the capabilities to say, hey, I need to go get some time by myself. Whatever's going on around me is a little bit too overwhelming. And so that's the first thing that a crate allows a dog to do is escapism. It allows the the dog to say, hey, there's a little bit too many people over. There's some people over I don't like. They're acting too loud on the video games, the game that's on, whatever it may be. And it gives them a safe place. Um, I get a question a lot of like, why do dogs go in bathtubs, under beds, Um weird places like that. Well, it's simple. It's because they don't, they don't have a crate probably. So a crate is a safe place naturally for dogs. We have bedrooms and places for us to seek solitude. And if you, if you familiarize your dog with the crate, that can also be available for them, which is really, really great. And when I'm talking about crate, it could be anything from a wire crate to an impact crate to a gun or kennel crate, whatever your crate is, even a bed at this point could be a safe place. Um, moving on, I want to talk about the crate not being introduced as a punishment tool. Um, a lot of times it's the same concept of why dogs do not like to recall and bring things back. A lot of times as humans, the only time we recall our dogs or the majority of times we want something out of the dog's mouth is if we want to take it away or if we go home, we want to leave this place. So why would they want to come back? to you and why would they want to drop the item to you if they know that you're just going to take it away and the fun's going to end. So very similar to that concept of the crate being a negative place or a punishment system, it's not a very good um, system for, for, that, for, for you guys to do to your dog because it doesn't create clarity of like, is the crate good? Is the crate bad? That's not to say that you can't put your dog in the crate if they do something wrong. But the worst thing you could do with the crate is primarily use it as a punishment system to, to punish the dogs. Meaning if they pee or poop or they chew up a shoe or a couch, you immediately yell them, Fido bad. You grab them, shove them in the crate. Now they're associating the crate with um, something negative or a punishment system, which is something I wouldn't suggest for the reasons I'm going to tell you in the future, which is going to make your life with your dog a lot better, um, a lot less stressful. Listen, I run a, I run a, a big daycare facility here too. Uh, I see a lot of stuff with dogs and their relationships and how stressful it can be for them if they're not associated with the things we are talking about in this video. So um, again, punishment should not be introduced with the uh, ecosystem of the crate because it creates that negative effect. Um, you want the crate area to be that safe haven, a place for them to rest, a place for them to set them up for success in the future. Um, meaning if you guys are having people over, you have a reactive dog, you have a fearful dog, you have an aggressive dog, you have, uh, any types of, any type of dog that really doesn't like people, or you're unsure of the, how that dog's going to act. If you have a new dog that you just recently adopted, if you have a foster dog, if you're not sure having, and again, we're talking about <clears throat> making the crate comfortable and the benefits of that. 
So if your crate is a comfortable place and a place where your dog goes to and says, I'm cool, I'm, I'm good with here, I'm Gucci with this, then you can do things such as Uncle Frank's coming over, he's loud, the Bills are playing, um, or the Chiefs are playing, shout out Pima Holmes. Um, you could take the dog and then put it into a crate. And you could take the dog and um, set it up for success by, hey, hey, chew on this bone instead of chewing on Uncle Frank. Um, the mailman's there, the painters are there, the drywall guys are there, the, whatever it may be. Say, hey, buddy, go to your crate. Okay, sure, fine. Boom, they get in there, you give them a treat, you give them a cookie, you throw the blanket over them, they sleep. Done. End it. Um, so again, having the crate association at an early age will help you navigate and dictate the success of your dog regardless of the circumstances of the outcome behavior. Meaning, um, if you do this at an early age as a puppy or when you first get your dog and your new routine with the dog, again, if you guys are here, leave some comments below. Let me know if you guys are here. Um, if your new routine with the dog is to go into the crate, if your dog becomes weary or anxious or nervous or reactive or aggressive, that crate mechanism or that crate, uh, again, the ecosystem of the crate is, is a very positive thing. Why am I going to my crate? doesn't matter. And then five minutes later, people come over and their dog's successful. So... <clears throat> excuse me, that's a, that's a really important aspect to having the, uh, having the crate, uh, within that environment as far as safety goes. Um, so, uh, it also obviously helps with chewing. So if your dog is chewing when you're at work, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter when your dog's chewing, if you don't like it. Um, again, talking about the success of the crate, I'm not talking about why your dog's chewing. Cause of course that could be exercise, but that's a different video. I'm talking about, um, if your dog is habitually chewing and making mistakes in the house and making messes and potty training and whatever it may be, the crate is also a really good uh, opportunity for them to be successful by putting them into the crate. Um, uh, let's see. I mean, without, without, I, I feel like I don't have to mention this, but the other thing I want to bring up too is, um, <clears throat> poison you get puppies you get a you get a dog with high energy with low expectations and low outdrive which means the dog isn't getting exercise or it's raining or like it just did here or something like that um and they want to say well i'm bored i'm gonna go chew on something and they get into poison they get into pills which i've seen dogs die of getting into pills because people won't create their dog um it's it's mo it's more hu it's a more inhumane to not create your dog than it would be to say, I don't want to create my dog because you feel like it's punishment. It's not punishment at all. My dog, that's why dogs love going for rides. That's why dogs love um, getting into tighter spaces because it provides them safety. Um, so anyway, uh, it obviously t protects them from uh, chemicals, harmful chemicals, especially if you have a puppy or especially if you have a dog that gets into a lot of things, or if you're living with somebody that takes a lot of medicine, um, and they're always around, or if you have kids that are on medicine or whatever it may be, it completely eliminates literally all of those things, all of them. You're, you're at, you're at ease that nothing's, nothing's bad happening. That could be on the spectrum of they're not chewing up your brand new couch, but they're also not eating a bottle of pills and potentially killing themselves while you're at work. <clears throat> so the create, the create, the create, the crate creates a safe place for your dog to go when they feel nervous or overwhelmed with kids. And, um, and like I said this before, kids and, uh, and people who they don't like, again, it, it, we, we do it a lot with the place command, but the other thing is, it's just making the, nor here's the, here's the, here's the big thing here, guys, that I really want to point out the normalcy of the crate, meaning if your dog is super comfortable with the crate, um, this will help you tremendously when you go from place to place, meaning if you're going to board your dog, but they're in their crate or a crate, they're like, Hey, I know this. I do this at home all the time. This is great. Um, bingo, ding, 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 winner, 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 chicken dinner. If you're on the road, if you're traveling, if you're, if you're in an RV, if you're in, um, in an airplane, if you need it to be, if you're in the back of a, if you're in the back of an SUV, if the create is normal, to create if the crate is normal and they're comfortable with that then the less stress you're going to have when you're traveling the less likelihood of them becoming stressed and, and anxious because they're in their crate so you're keeping normalcy 
why you're transferring the dog's environments. If you move, um, again, if you're traveling, if you have friends over, whatever it is, or if, if your dog stays with friends, say you're going to go to the in-laws, you're like, hey, here's their crate, here's their bowl, here's their blanket, here's their toy. We're gone for the weekend. We're gone for the week. It's going to create that normalcy, so they're not going to be stressed hardly at all. So because you feel bad, don't feel bad, <laughs> uh, if that makes any sense. Um, so it's, it's the same, it's the same equivalence to, um, what I was talking about is, uh, it, you know, with, with kids, when we feel bad about, oh man, like they want to stay up past 10 or, oh man, they, they don't want to wear their seatbelt cause it's uncomfortable. It doesn't matter. Protecting your dog is the number one priority. They're not going to want to do anything that you want them to do. That's new to them, unless it involves high rewards. So don't be afraid to start introducing the crate, making it a positive thing. Uh, we can talk about that in the comments below, um, and I'll answer those questions. But uh, that's 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 the really that's the really important thing about creating your dog is it is such a valuable thing that you guys can do throughout your dog's life. Getting a new dog, getting a new puppy, um, whatever it is. I mean, it really creates that um, that energy. Or, sorry, that energy. It really creates that that relationship that you can. Um, that you can use throughout the, throughout their relationship. So, um, I did have one, one quote that I wanted to talk about, um, that I have in my notes somewhere. Um, but for those of you who are just joining, or for those of you who are joining this after, leave your comments below and I'm going to start answering them, uh, within the comments below. Cause for some reason they're not coming up on the live and I want to, I want to answer your questions as I promised, um, as I did in, on Instagram here and, and, and here on YouTube. Um, if you haven't yet again, support the YouTube channel by liking, subscribing to this video, um, or to my channel, I can't find it, but anyway, I hope everyone's doing really well. The video that we did with the out of state from Philadelphia's next episode is coming out tomorrow. We had a gap with the, uh, with the editing process. And so that video is dropping tomorrow. Again, if you guys have questions, leave them in the comments below, like this video. Let me see really quick if I can find that quote that I did. Uh, it was a good one and I wrote it down. Oh yeah, here it is. So don't send your dog to the crate every time they do something wrong. Crate your dog before they actually do it. That's the quote or something like that, which essentially means put your dog in a crate if you're going to potentially set them up for failure because that's what crates are invented for. It's to keep, it's not to trap dogs and make them, I mean, some people do that because they're scumbags, but that's not what we're talking about here. So don't be afraid to crate your dog. Um, it really, really helps out with a lot of different things such as anxiety, uh, stress, aggression, um, obedience, safety, relationship, et cetera, it gives them a safe place as well. I hope this video was valuable. Again, I can't see any comments on this live feed. They may be turned off for some reason. I'm not sure. But if you guys are asking comments and questions, I can't see any of them. So once this publishes, leave your comments below. I'll spend the next hour answering your questions here on YouTube. See you, Zach. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys supporting me. And we're going to have some uh, videos coming up here uh, in the next couple of days, which I'm excited about with some, some more aggressive German Shepherds. Go figure. I'm Tom Davis, America's Canon Educator, and I will talk to you next time. Peace. Thanks, guys.